everybody. Hope you're all doing well out there. We're doing something a little different today. I'm not proud to say it, but I have been playing Star Trek Online a bit lately. And this is all because I started watching Deep Space Nine again um, a few weeks ago, and I've kind of been hooked. And that's put me in a very Star Trek kind of mood. And I blame college on this because Deep Space Nine was on when I was in school, so I really didn't get to watch all the episodes. I watched most of them, I think. I don't remember. It's hard hard to think that far back. It was the late 90s, early 2000s. But I've gone back and started watching them, and I've really gotten this Star Trek need. And, you know, Star Trek Online is really the still the main Star Trek game out there, sadly. Uh, the mobile games I don't like very much. Um, so, and I really, I could play the older games, I guess, but there's still new content coming up for Star Trek Online. Now, Star Trek Online is not without its issues. It's run by Perfect World Entertainment. It is a very loot box heavy game. There are a lot of ways to pay in this game. Um, I, I played at launch. I mean, I think this game is 10 years old. So I played quite at launch, I have a pretty far long Romulan. I did buy a Romulan ship. I ended up spending money because I was playing a lot then, and I didn't mind. It's after it was free to play, so I didn't mind giving some money. Right now, though, I re rolled a new character. I got a Frangi. I had been watching Deep Space Nine, big Quark fan, so I had to go with the Frangi. And I'm at level seven, so I'm still pretty early. In this video, we're going to kind of check out what this game is like in 2020. It, it's aged okay. I mean, it definitely feels like an older game, but, you know, it's got a lot of content. So we're just going to go do a mission here and kind of see what the gameplay is like. You can see my Ferengi here. There's all sorts of options for crew members and outfitting them. I, I always like that about the game. I'm still flying a nice little light cruiser here, the USS Tarsus. It's the uh, my starting ship. We're gonna we're doing a Klingon campaign mission here, so we gotta go do this Doomsday device. So we're gonna go head over there and do that. Let's go take a look. The universe is still pretty nice. I wish I could get this out of the way. This, <laughs> that, that within the briars patch. There we go. Now I can see it. There's my ship. Very cool. So the game still has that going for it. It's got cool ships. There's no doubt about that. There's Romulan. There's Klingon. There, there, I mean, everyone's got a ship. Everybody. But you can play as Romulan, Klingon, uh, Federation. There's the three factions. Also, they added the Dominion as a faction, which is really cool. But they're like an advanced faction. You start out top level with them, I think. Um, you can. There's a whole bunch of player races here. Am I going through the sun? I'm just going to bounce around the sun. All right. So we uh, can begin Doomsday. So there's a ton of customization here. Now, I haven't, I'm not very good at this game yet, so we'll see. Ride in the system. There are some good voiceovers. Oh, I can't. I'm not showing any uh, v sound because I know it'll get flagged. But there are pretty good voiceovers. We've arrived in the deny system. There's some uh, Klingon fleet here. We got a disable Klingon ship. All right, there's a few over there. Okay, let's get moving. All right, we got a battle cruiser and the IKS Targ. Disable the IKS Targ is the main uh, mission here. So we'll go to Impulse. Can use some of our special abilities here. Oh, see, we disabled the escort. We disabled the target pretty easily. 
So we used a couple of abilities. We used a Tachyon to lower their shields. So it's all about, it's still very positional and shield, lowering the shields kind of gameplay here. Once you lower their shields, you can uh, fire Torpedo. Torpedo does not do as well without Uh, the shield, if the shields are still up, the torpedo does not uh, do much damage. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be fighting this guy yet, but we're going to. The ship, the ship graphics are pretty nice. See, I hit the shields with the torpedo. It really does not do as well when you when you don't when you have the shields. All right, there we go. Yeah, we got there. Yeah, that was a big hit. A nice big hit there. Our shields are doing okay. We're gonna launch our double torpedo volley once we get it over here, get it in range. Yeah, there we go. I'm starting to get the hang of this again. You can adjust your shield's strength to whichever side is being uh, hurt more. So you, there is some manual that you can do. You can also do presets to make your shield stronger just in general. There, we did it. All right, now we have to do a boarding. So the typical mission in a Star Trek Online involves like space and then you board a ship and there's this ground component oh, I don't have my team with me usually I have a uh, I don't have a boarding party with me I guess we're doing this ourselves oh I, oh there's this NPC boarding party a lot of Starfleet boarding parties here Let's get involved. They're just going to do the work for me, apparently. That's fine. I don't mind. We're in main engineering. So I, each weapon has uh, special properties, like this one is a phaser rifle. And it can shoot multiple enemies at once. The deck are on secure, but Gamma Squad is reporting there are a few Klingons left on the bridge. They've locked down the turbo lifts. All right, take the turbo lift to the bridge. Now the engineering is ours. The environments are pretty cool, though. I still like those. I don't really know what the end game is like. I know there are there are kind of like raids, though. Uh, I think they call them, there are patrols and operation. I don't know, operations is in Star Wars, the Old Republic. Turbo lift to bridge. I got this magic boarding team to come and help me. There's You can do things like crouch and aim and go to first person shooter mode but you know I don't know if anyone actually uses this the bridge and the rest of the ship are secure sir remaining Klingons are being transported to the brig find a terminal in the reading room all right see the I don't know if I like the first person shooter mode All right, we got a cutscene here. I've been betrayed by a first officer, and there's a, a Targ, I think. I think that's what they're called. A Klingon? Betraying another Klingon? That's just crazy. Try to take over the ship. Kalvok is the only survivor. Send a coded message to Federation Space. Interesting. There would be voiceover, but again, sadly, I had to turn this over. I had to turn it off. 
so I don't get flagged. All right, let's uh, Calvac will die screaming. That's very Klingon. All right, now I got to go to the brig. I don't like this first person mode. I think I remember they added it many years ago, but uh, I don't think it got too much attention. Turbo lift to the brig. They have a big brig. All right, let's talk. Oh, I got to open the cell. Open the cell. Are you going to fight me? I'm just a poor little Ferengi. You are my enemy, but today you're my only hope. Bunch of chat options, but they highlight the one in green that will advance the uh, quest. So there's this Doomday machine that we're going after because the Klingons Federation are at war. All right, we got to help him stop the Doomsday machine. Doomsday, sorry. Use the Ready Rooms terminal to speak to Starfleet. All right. There's a whole bunch of campaigns like uh, Return to the Bridge. There's a whole bunny, bunch of campaigns. Can I show them? I'll show them when I get out of here. I, can I do the journal in here? Is this it? Episodes. So all these on the left. So I'm doing the Klingon War right now. There's all these on the left that you can do. Now, I'm not sure how many of them are locked down to um, certain, like Romulan. If the Romulans can only con play certain content and Dominion can only play certain content. What's the situation here? Your orders. Do what you think is best. Thanks. That's a very bold leadership. Some... All right. We got to go to the Omega system and take care of this doomsday device. Yes, I understand the importance of stopping a doomsday machine. All right, we're, we're going to go do that. We got to do some scanning because, you know, what is a star? Oh, I'm playing in the uh, Klingon ship. Let's take a look at this guy. Klingon ships are pretty cool looking. I prefer Romulan ships, honestly, but Klingon ships are not bad. Very nostalgic. Let's get full impulse here. You can also do some uh, material gathering. There's a little mini game. All right, we got a scan. Scanning is Star Trek at its core. Whoa, whoa. Who's fighting me? Oh, there's fighters. It's hard to see those guys. So the Klingon weapon arcs. It's hard to see the fighters. Jeez. But the Klingons have smaller weapon arcs, so you can kind of see that at least this type of weapon this the ship is using all right did I get them all all right good took care of those fighters the fighters are hard to see I don't know yep but luckily tab does target them All right, another cutscene. Drones. All right, let's. Uh, I don't want to ruin all the cutscenes for you. So now we have to disable the energy drain field. They have this whole epic prize was got by this lucky person and and things like that. So like, the uh, the monetization in this game is you know a big problem. You know, it's the same as Neverwinter, if you played Neverwinter. 
But it's like the only game in town for Star Trek right now. So, you know, I really wish a new Star Trek game came out other than like Bridge Commander. All right, let's get this drone out of here. It's hard to hit. There we go. Got the drone. If I had phasers, this would be easier. Phasers kind of just lock on. They don't miss as much. All right, let's upload our program here. Yeah, but oh, I would kill for a new Star Trek game, like an open world, like GTA kind of Ubisoft open world S Star Trek game, open universe with all the different races and quadrants. That would be amazing. I just don't know if there's much of an appetite for Star Trek these days. I haven't watched any of the new series. They just... You know, Deep Space Nine was the last one I really enjoyed. Voyager had its moments. But, uh, yeah, Deep Space Nine was the last one I kind of really liked. All right, that one was quick. Oh, wait, no, that one's still there. There we go. Drones taken care of. Nice explosions. More scanning and uploading. I like how the, the wings change. All right, we can now land the ship and see here I get my away team. I actually have this board crew member because I pre-ordered way back in 2009 or whatever. And that was a pre-order bonus. <laughs> All right. Again, just skipping the cutscene. So I get to this is this is definitely new. <laughs> so we're all we are all disguised as uh, Klingons for this mission. I don't remember this at all when I played years ago. So that's pretty funny. But this is uh the world. Very cool. You get to see the ship. They just added Klingon content, too. Do I have my kit? Yeah, I think I do. So I got my grenade there. Explosions everywhere because I have someone else with uh, grenades. I like the, the squad aspect, though. It's kind of fun. You can outfit your squad with different types of weapons. They all have different abilities. You can train their abilities. No matter what the game, can never resist uh, looting. There's a melee attack. You can hit them with a rifle. This early in the game, though, I mean, I've died once, I think, in space. Or twice. There was one, this one, because I was on the laptop, and it was really pain, a big pain to do. And I did manage to die, but it's still pretty early, so I don't expect to die. And you can adjust difficulty to get different rewards, so it does have a scaling system. Frangy Tribble. Oh, they got the Tribbles. The Tribbles will multiply, I think. I don't know if that's still a thing. But they used to multiply in your inventory. Nice little Easter egg. That guy's exposed. So he's, uh, that means he's weak. The ground game's okay. I just like all the customization you can do. Rakagino. Cisco was a big fan of Rakagino, by the way. As I've learned through watching my uh, 
<laughs> through watching uh, Deep Space Nine. We got those three pips mean he's uh, a little tougher. can knock him down with a melee attack. Can't do much when he's laying down. Oh, he's got his bat left. All right. Oh, that guy's all over the place. It's cool that they bring out the bat left, though. All right. Almost there. Jeez, Klingons everywhere. Sadly, they're like cannon fodder. Most of them are. The, uh, the marksman's kind of tough. But not to a grenade. I also love how they I, I love how they disintegrate sometimes. Ah. <laughs> There's Klingons everywhere. I don't know who's who. I don't know who's who. Ah, heal me. Heal me up. Wow, that was a little, that was a bit of a, a mess right there. All right, and here's one of the uh, crafting resources. I don't know how important they are these days, but this is the crafting game. You just kind of kind of match the waveform. It's not that difficult to do. You always get some. If you match it correctly, you get more. Oh, we can't get in there yet. I don't think I'm throwing my grenade at the right time. I feel like I should start shooting first so they stop moving around so much. <laughs> Disintegrated. Very nice. Got a disruptor and some Cardassian Kanar. Kanar, I think. More Klingons. These Klingons are everywhere. All right, stay still so I can get you with my grenade. There we go. Yeah, I think that's what I got to do. These Klingons are everywhere. I don't need to fight them all. I don't think so. How is our map looking? How far are we away here? We'll take out this patrol. And then we will take the... Then we'll be at the objective. Nice. I like the disintegrations. Whoops. This tar this alpha tar is still up. Here's little uh critters they had running around, little targs, that's kinda cool. Targs, very lovable animals. Oh, 
All right, I gotta gain. I gotta gain the access controls here. Oh, of course they're not gonna let me. How dare they? My disguise isn't. My disguise isn't very good. Like I've had to fight everybody. Why am I disguised here? Maybe it's a personal error. Maybe I didn't have to fight everybody. All right. Turn that off. Energy field done. Let's not go that way. Because we'll have to go through everybody. Giant mushrooms on this planet. It reminds me of uh, Morrowind. This is the Morrowind equivalent in Star Wars. I'm sorry, Star Trek. Excuse me. Come on, I don't want to fight everybody. Let's just get back to the ship. All these Klingons. Oh no. These, these Targs are mean. All right, let's keep going to the ship. Oh no, I didn't, it's not who I wanted my grenade to go to. They still offer lifetime subscriptions to this game, too. I don't quite get it. I know there's some benefits, but it's it was such a weird concept then, and they're still they are still uh, doing it. So if you do want to buy a lifetime subscription to this game, you certainly can. All right, we're almost back to the ship. We can stop this massacre of Klingons. Can I just uh, skip down here? Can I walk on the mushroom? I can. There's our ship. Yeah, now we'll run. Let's make a run for the ship. Let's get out of here. It is a nice looking ship though. The ship designers in this game are on point. Now the how that fits with the lore, I don't know. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to deal with this. Oh, I thought I'd have to grenade them. They're arguing about something. Another cutscene coming up. Survive the ambush. I think I'll be able to survive this ambush. And we can get out of here. All right, back on the ship. Now, of course, the planet killer is now here. So we got to do some space combat. Like I said, most missions in this game are kind of the same in that you fight in space, you go to the ground, you fight in space. So we are now in the fight in space part. Although this, this mission has been a lot longer than I thought it would be. Oh, there's a planet killer. Oh, no. They blew up the world. That's cool, though. Look, it's uh, totally different. They changed the planet. Destroy the Doomsday Machine by firing Harpang torpedoes into its maul. 
The Federation has arrived. Into its mall. So I got to fire torpedoes in here. There we go. See, it uh, did 20,000 damage. Wow. Okay, so... We don't want to stay in one place. Alright, what do I got here? I can cloak? Oh, that's cool. Look at all the starships firing on it. I forgot the Klingons could cloak. Whoops. I mean, do I have anything to fix myself here? Do I have... This is a very cool scene, though. I just don't want to get hit again. There we go. Oh, no! I was too close. I was too close. Can I take the items? Well, I'm defeated. You gotta respawn. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Not yet. I want the, I want whatever that loot was. So let's go get that loot. So that is, we're just about done with this mission. That's kind of a typical. Is this mission is a little more involved than some others. All right, let's take the items. Take that. All right, now we can depart the system, and this is kind of the end of the mission. We successfully defeated the Doomsday Machine. We're heroes. And now we hail Starfleet and collect our rewards. So reward, we get experience, expertise, dilithium, I don't know how to describe it. It's, some, it, it's this weird currency that you can only refine so much a day. You get it from doing sort of things, and you can spend it on. You can convert it to the pay currency and things like that. So now we can, choo we can choose any of these. Wait, do we choose one of the following and choose one of the following? Okay. So we can get a Boolean or a human tactical officer. I could use a human. Human science officer. A human other... Uh, I could always use another tactical officer. And then we can decide if we want to get uh, the torpedo launcher we just had. So it's really cool in that they, they give you what you use in these special missions. I don't think I need 10,000 damage to the Doomsday. I, I don't know what the radiation is. That's the problem. They don't really tell me what the radiation does. I can get a shield array, a regenerative shield array, which is faster, or a covariant shield array, which is slower to regenerate, but stronger, or resilient shield array, which reduces plasma damage. I feel like I need to get the torpedo launcher, because I can get these anywhere, or I can get a lockbox. I don't want a lockbox. Hey, I leveled up. And now I can spend points and things like that. Oh, and I also got a requisite. I can requisition a new officer. 
I can get a Trill, a Rigelian, or a Betazoid. I just got a Tactical. I could always use a, a Beta Z Engineering Officer. I don't know. All right, I'll take take that. A little Star Trek, the next generation. Okay, so that is what it's like kind of playing uh, in 2020. Uh, Star Trek Online. If you like this, like it, and I'll play more. I may I may show some other stuff. We'll see. See how this goes. It's a fun game since if you're in mood for Star Trek and can't get anywhere else. But do beware of the pay model. All right, that about covers it for this one. Hope you found it somewhat helpful. I'll talk to you later.